I, I've been watching a show called Below Zero. It's about life in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> now, back to Steiny and Guru on 95.7 The Game. Oh, boy. Crossover time. Welcome, Splash. Willard and Dibs. Let me tell you something about our focus. I know everything. We're always focused. That was a great That's one. funny you'd say that. Yeah. I heard about an hour and a half of the show today. Did you hear the laugh? Oh, I couldn't get enough of the laugh. Did Willard, I needed it another, another five times. No, I see now a, a, a rare day in the weeds away from Steiny and Goo for oh. me. I've heard literally Grandy, nothing. Grandy, can you give no, us the Steiny, uh, the jewel that will last forever? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? shades of Kawhi. Oh, my God. <laughs> a little steiny Kawhi. Meet me in the middle. I like it. I like that. That's good. Dibs, can a I a belly laugh from I, steiny. That's I have a good thing. A, I have dibs a question for hot. Dibs. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. So, I wasn't here last week when you were talking about the Olympics and what you can, what you like sure. to be talked about live when it's not live. And right, so, right. Is something off limits right now? Well, here's my thing about spoiler alerts. Okay. And uh, if there's an event that's going on live and it's being televised and you have the ability to watch it live, <laughs> it's not a spoiler okay. because you could be watching it. Now, for example, this game that just concluded, USA wins, they're going to the gold medal game. Spoiler, yeah. spoiler, spoiler. Oh, my boy, it's Rans not is a be spoiler because the game's on TV. If you choose not to watch something that is on TV live, you're making a choice. And that's different than, for example, there was a big track event that happened at about 1230. I'm not sure if it was carried live. Okay. I didn't get a chance to see the event. I know the result, but because I'm not sure if it was shown live or not, I won't disclose that result unless I know that it was carried live. That, to me, is the big difference. Yeah, because we've been taking a lot of heat. I also think there's something to be said for the size of an event. All right. Mm. Like there is a responsibility. It's on you. You know what I mean? Like if you're a, if you're big into swimming and that happens and you're like, you know, I don't want to know. Okay. That's swimming. When, when team USA bat, when Stefan LeBron are playing, I'm sorry, that like, I, well, you can't wait. You got, that's yeah. on you. Turn it's the radio the, off. Yeah, we that's on you if you don't want to know what's going on. Well, well the reason you, why they're playing it live is because it's that big. Exactly. And so the fact that it's on the USA Network, whatever, I guess NBC, right. yeah. the mothership has other uh, appointments with soap operas or, or talk shows. I'm not sure, but... They played this live because it is that big. My my WhatsApp feed with my high school friends has been going berserk for an hour. I missed that for an hour right now. So that to me, that's one of my barometers. These are these are all forty something year old professionals. They've all got jobs. It's the middle of the day on Thursday. They're all locked in, all of them. So yeah, big event. You don't need to hide anything. Dude, they were down okay. 15. You don't need to hide anything. Okay. They yeah. were down Steph one plus five. 36 points in this one. Steph. Team USA. I guess he's still good, huh, Steiny? Got the most ridiculous it, I, I'll, I'll never whistle it. <laughs> in the fourth quarter. It was unbelievable. It was that, generous. That game was gifted. To the United States. How do you get that's fouled untrue. out of three that's and then you get the ball back? I'll tell shoot. you how. That's a six. Like, you should be shooting the free It was a six-point swing, Dibs. Can I walk you through it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll walk you through it. So you've got a three-point shooter, and you've got the joker who's trying to fight through a screen. Gotcha. Anthony Davis is setting the screen. He fights through and knocks Anthony Davis to the ground. Now, whether or not Anthony Davis flopped is another question for another day, and we can actually answer that coming up. But the reason why... The three counts, the foul happens before not the, on the shooter. Yeah. The foul happened on the screener. Before so the now, ball, before your boy rolls no, up. After the shot. The shot. Uh, the shot was off. It was it was bang bang uh, either way. Right, the okay. shot goes, the foul occurs. The foul didn't occur on the shooter, even though the screener almost uh took the legs out from underneath KD. Oh, Very that. scary. Yeah, no, no doubt. But the foul is the foul, so you get the team gets the ball side out of bounds. Wow. Bing, bang, bucket. boom, another three, Booker. six-point play. Wow. Now, my issue with all that, Anthony Davis flopped. The Joker did not go through the screen so hard that a seven-foot wow. man is going to fly backward into KD. The ref bought the flop. That was the issue. Well, for anybody who says, oh, yeah, they're just going to cakewalk, sleepwalk. It's not really hard work. They just go there, have fun, and win the gold. 
No. No. Oh, that was no. real. Yeah, that was yeah. game yeah. seven. Absolutely. Like, I mean, let me tell you yeah. something. Curry, Curry was brilliant yeah, today. Was. But I'll tell you what. I mean, it's going to have ramifications come January. Oh, God. I mean, That's he, he is absolutely gassed right now. Just so gassed. And you wonder when it comes back to haunt us. Not First of all, euphoria I don't know, he, for the win. Can he it's recover that. over the next wait, wait, three you know, months? I don't think so, Mark. You don't think he can yeah. get, I don't you think so. catch his win get by, boy, Mark. Do you by know November? how many minutes he played yeah. tonight? But they, and not, I say tonight because it's nine hours ahead in Paris. They were hard minutes, though, whatever they were. See, you, you have no idea. So you, you're just five. reaching back in your back pocket. In your, probably played 22. Exactly. <laughs> but twenty, Maybe 26 because it's a 40-minute game. You know that. And this will end up being when they play Saturday – Spoiler alert, they play Saturday. Uh, like, who gets who? France. Yeah. 12, 12 30 our time. Yeah. And go ahead and realize go that bear. that's going to be live on TV. So, for all the people who don't want to know about it, then stay off and of Twitter. And this will be the chip, right? This is it. Gold. For the gold. Yeah. 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 I can't Gold wait. or silver. You yeah. lose, you get silver. You win, you get gold. No, we and don't it's want Serbia silver. We and don't Germany get gold. in the bronze yeah. medal game. People will lose their minds. But you got to, your guest, TJ Hoosman Zada. TJ's coming off. I feel nice. like that's IU because that's his guy. I like, an extension. He, he don't bite his tongue. No. Right that way. He talks to him. And y'all know how to pry he with talks the best stuff. Well, we he don't talks. have to pry is yeah. the beauty. Yeah. I mean, we just ask. So yeah. it, it just comes down to where's TJ going to play? With the Niners? With Cleveland? With Pittsburgh, with someone else, or not at all? Well, I thought those the, are the options. To me, the lead story of of that discussion today was Herm Edwards on in the morning saying, "There's Man. no question that Brandon Ayuk still wants to play for the 49ers. And, and, and the, well, there and the go. longer this goes, I really do feel like this, and I apologize for the friends reference, but this is a Ross and Rachel thing going on here. Y'all want to get together, yeah. and we're finding fifty different ways to make it not happen. Uh, Willard, I'm so not mad. So stop." No. Let, let, let let end this charade. Right. No doubt. Take him off the table. Because it would already been done. He does, right. The Niners are not going to get what they want out of this. He's not going to get what he wants. You both want each other. Get back in the whether it's get back in the room or or make concessions or whatever it is. You've all. It, you, you've Don't showed, tell me you want to pause. You've ways. showed your yeah, tell. You all you. lick the Oreo. I, I, that is beautiful. All, I you, agree. You all showed what you want, so get back yeah. in the room and figure it out. And I'm not biting anymore, Stoddy. I told you. I, they, he don't want to leave, and they don't want him to leave. What that means, Dibs, week one against the Jets, I have no idea, but I'm with you. When Herm said that, and also, real quick, when he did the Pivot podcast and spilled all the beans, and at the end, <laughs> yep, Ryan Clark yep. goes, what uniform are you going to be in? He thought about it. Niners. Niners. Like, yeah. nothing, this is, but, <laughs> but I've been doing, like, I got to bring this up. We love Andrew Filipponi. And Stani and I talked about it. 93-7, the fan of Pittsburgh. Guys in our in a medium, if 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 he's wrong, that's not a bad thing. Yes, it is. It's, I don't believe. What are you talking about? He was using his intel and was confident enough to say he thinks that a trade oh, is dude. imminent. But it's not about being right or wrong, Willard. I mean, I'm not saying he didn't have that intel. But when, whatever happens, if there's no trade, it's not like Andrew missed the bucket. Am I yes, looking at it did. wrong? Like, yes. The expression is not wrong for long. So if he is wrong, if he doesn't become a Pittsburgh Steeler, then Filipponi is on to Cincinnati. Not literally, because he still is going to work in Pittsburgh, right. but figuratively. And then it's just on to the next thing. And if you want to be somebody who makes bold statements, not predictions, but statements, and I loved Steiny earlier because you you asked him his prediction, and Steiny with the classic, yeah, 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 and then you kind of said, well, I, I think, and you know, you didn't really want to say it with your chest because you're still probably a little gun shy after Mavericks and Six, and so that's just the nature of right. some people aren't afraid to. I guess I wouldn't be shy. Let me tell you something. Yeah. After talking to Filipponi yesterday. If Brandon Ayuk is not a stealer, he will go on the air and say, I was wrong. Okay, got you. Yeah, I yeah. made a mistake. Totally. And yeah, I agree. I, got, I, I agree with that, except for that this would be the second time. And and I would just, I mean, listen, I'm I, I know the guy. I'm not like, we're not like friends or whatever, but I would suggest to him, like, you you have to you have to say things a certain way on social media if you want to be taken seriously mm. as that and he has or said, get a reaction he's like look i'm not a newsbreaker but he's he's 
he's sort of moonlighting as one because right. he knows mm, someone in a high mm, place mm. with the Steelers. Right. But you you have to talk a certain way, and your word choice is really no important. Doubt. And he said the uh, agreement in principle is done, and the receiver is on his way to Pittsburgh. Right. So yeah. if he's not, then... Yeah, that's 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 a scrambled egg on the face. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I mean, uh, that's a period. Yeah, I, I mean, it's I agree. Now, but that doesn't mean his no, career's yeah, over. Now, now. I, I mean, you we'll just move on. There's no consequences for even lying anymore in this world. Exactly, there's none. Exactly, there's not. So, <laughs> there's actually reward for yeah, lying. Well, that's why in some I, circles. But that's why all Damn. of these. That's why all Fact. of these Twitter rep- sites do this. Because there's, you there's might no as well take right. your shot, <laughs> take your shot, be the first to report it, make it up. If you're right, you gain a bunch of followers. If you're wrong, you just go ha ha and do that Homer Simpson back into the bushes thing. I think Cam For, Marino was that? Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, you're right. You that know, was Monday, I believe. All, right, it's all yeah. Cleveland. Yeah, he had the Cleveland uh, sure, Mari in the sure. 2020. And I had never two. heard of him prior to that. And, <laughs> and that's sub- yeah. well, subsequent to that, exactly. Oh, yeah. I mean, does. Does he go down in my book? No, it's just another person. It's kind of like if you go to the zoo and you look at the uh, the monkey exhibit. What do the monkeys do a lot of the time? They reach back behind him oh. and see what they can find, and then it's <laughs> and they will sling it. They will sling it at the patrons. If you ever try to taunt a monkey at the zoo, you better watch out because it's coming you your way. Why the hell would you try to taunt a monkey at the zoo? Because some what people. What's the matter with you? And they have signs, and I, I go to the zoo a lot with my almost two year old, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, please don't roar at the lions. Please don't mock the baboons, you know? It's like, what kind of a moron? There are those people out well, there. Yes, there are. And Twitter is full I, I, of people who want to just reach back behind them. And throw it out there Sales at to the Elon the Musk. We're, 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 we're plenty aware of how many morons there are in the world now. Right, but, but it's wild that those signs even need to be. But please don't roar at the lions. Yeah, they'd rather have you not I mean, roar at the lions. Well, yeah. idiots. Like pretty it's, much. Come on. What are we doing? I, that obviously <laughs> takes me back to the fatal incident we had at the San Francisco Zoo one Christmas. Uh, a decade or so back. Do you remember that? I do. Yeah. Somebody what went happened? into the into the den. Somebody something happened where they either went in and then the, the lion jumped out. Oh no. Yes, and the lion I got you. Did lion fa- things. Yes. Came a two piece. Yeah. Yes. Well I, one person uh, died and down. another Ba-ba. was seriously <laughs> injured. I'm <laughs> pretty right. sure. That's yeah. not that's uh, scary. Going pretty, going he ain't gonna Willard, scary. you nailed right. it with the friends reference. I, I just I'm there yeah. now. Y'all man. y'all want to be together yeah. and we're like okay. looking we're looking for like everybody's playing this leverage game. And it, it like in the end it doesn't <laughs> matter. What are we what game are we playing here? Is this a contest to see Kianas Mas Macho? Like who can? Ooh, Ryan, Ryan Williams said this, and Steelers, and we're flirting, and golly, this should be done by now. Well, what set me off is Steiny report is not him. Oh, Kyle's getting real agitated that Brandon's in practice. What? Fix it then. I'm like, send him home. Get it done, send, and then he or, won't or, have to well, be irritated. Send him home. Well, what's he's the, just what's the fix? He don't want to get fined. That's why he's there. Right, so what's the fix? That's the million-dollar question. And that's what I'll ask TJ about yeah. Brandon and his relative willingness to eventually show up and play. If it's going to be the fifth-year option, is that's your only wow. choice. yeah. Is Brandon interested in coming in and practicing and really balling out and being a part of the team? And if so, when? What? And TJ's the type of guy that... Oh, go ahead, Stan. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch and YouTube, powered by First NorCal Credit Union. No, TJ's the type of guy to give him the advice if Brandon seeked it, and I'm sure he does, Willard and Steiny, of... Man, don't take your ass out here. No, we play on no, the. That's well, how I well, think it is. You could argue, I guess, that it's the only thing that's worked. Because, again, you know, we've had this conversation so many times about who's got the power and the leverage and the juice and all this. And I'm still firmly in the camp that it's 100% for the 49ers unless they decide to give it away. And, and that's, yes. what it, that's what it feels like they're doing because they're annoyed with his behavior. You allegedly. don't have to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. again, allegedly. We don't. We, you don't have to do this. What? You can just look at Brandon and say no, and then and then that, the whole thing's over. Start to make him practice. Yeah, or just send there's him home some, if you want. There's some information that comes out that, to me, holds a lot more weight. And you guys had Barrows on yes. of the Athletic yesterday, and he says, you know what? There have been times when Brandon's been on the sidelines, 
And Lynch kind of goes over and goes, hey, come, well, let's watch with me right. away from watch the team. Or they go into an area where they're not near the sidelines. Yep. Okay. Silver wrote yesterday, I absolutely positively believe they don't like him just being out there. Agreed. And it is absolutely bothering Kyle Shanahan. And so that's, and then Carter Chickering was down yeah. at practice. He said he didn't see IU today. Yeah. And I'll bet. They're saying, why don't you just stay inside yeah. when practice? Right. I so, mean, the bro hug was out in the middle of the field. Exactly. But right. now that feels like Ayuk was just poking at him. I mean, trolling knows? him. Yeah, trolling yeah. him. Great no word. Yeah. That's, I was knows? looking for that all day. Yeah. That's what that was now, yeah, exactly. I believe. Exactly, because you walk up to John Lynch, yeah. and what's John going to do? If John really has angry feelings you toward him, you're not going to push him away. Yeah. You're not going to ignore him. The only thing you can do, shake wow. a hand. Then he goes up to Kyle, and Kyle's in the same spot. Like, mm-hmm. this mother jumper. <laughs> this mother jumper's got the audacity to come out here. I'm going to bring it in, two taps, and then maybe quickly in his ear, it's like, get off my field. Get off my field. Like you were saying yes. yesterday. Get off my field. Get off my field. But, yeah. you know, I think Brandon is using every arrow in his quiver that he thinks that he has. He's and running yet, out now. It's getting low. Well, the only we'll thing see. the only thing that he might have left is not p- showing up week not 1. Not showing up. There it is. Or, or, or you know, showing up money. and showing up and not practicing or doing whatever he thinks he can still do to to get at them, but as Mark's pointed out, if he doesn't practice and then he comes in week 1, all right, I'm not practicing, but I'm ready to play on Monday night. And they're going to say, no, you're Hell not playing. Too. And so he doesn't play, he doesn't play, he doesn't play. He might be active, or he might be a healthy scratch on game day. He still gets paid, but those precious numbers that he wants to have going into next year, they won't be there. Well, what I what I thought was interesting, too, again, Barrows is somebody that I absolutely respect. He used the phrase, like, uh, the, the, the joke that he's injured. He's saying that, I guess, on the media report, he's not practicing because of a back and a neck injury. My neck and my back. But everybody knows he's not hurt. (laughs) Well, okay. So that means at some point, the Niners, like, I asked my agent buddy, I'm like, why don't the 49ers just make him practice? And he said, well, they're still not acquiescing, but they're still trying to do the right thing in case they end up signing him or not signing him or trading him or not trading him. And so there's still there's still a, a modicum of cooperation there. Mm. But that can end at any minute. But what if Brandon Ayuk says, I'm hurt? I'm hurt! Okay, then you're Which hurt. You, but Which you, have pa- to, you have to actually be hurt. I, but see, that's I why I think it could get really well, nasty. Of course it could. Here, here's where my mind always goes whenever somebody brings up the idea of Brandon Ayuk just, okay, I'm going to show up but I'm going to be like, I'm going to play games. I'm going to mess around with you. I'm going to act like I'm hurt or I'm not going to try, or I'm going to mess with teammates in the locker room. I'm going to say wrong things to the media. All of that stuff is, um, is way worse for Brandon than anyone else. Like GMs talk teams Mm -hmm. talk. If your end game is a big contract in the future, you're not going to show up and act a fool. That is going to absolutely destroy your future. And, and Brandon knows that. Like it did Antonio Brown. Exactly Not calling right. that, but that's what, that when you talk like that, it's that's what he did. step one when, you, when guys start face. doing that. Exactly. Like if you want to just challenge and start bucking the entire system, good luck. Good luck. Everybody who's out there to hire you is a part of the system. So have a good time if that's the way you want to Now play. what about Trent? What about Trent? Where are y'all at on Trent? I see. I think that's a completely. I told Stani they're going to get whatever. Though I just he's think he's it's a completely it. different. He's it's, being selfish. I get that, but he's still going to get his chip. I don't know. Is he being selfish? Stani's being, being, I think he's being no less. Like if you if if you're a fan out there and you're like, uh, if you're criticizing Ayuk for not taking the money or for holding out or being selfish or greedy. Trent Williams is absolutely in that same boat. I disagree because of the report with regard to the Patriots. I, I would I would agree with you if Trent Williams had said, please give me X, That's, and the that, 49ers hmm. go, okay, here's X, and then you go, no, actually, I don't want that. My, you have to give me a different X. My one caveat was somebody who, who texted in and said, the reason, like I said, if you're PO'd at Brandon, you should be PO'd at Trent. 
And he said, well, the way Trent's handled it has been different. And I said, that's fair. Yeah. That's absolutely fair. But to me, the the there is a comparison to be made between the two in terms of one guy's like it, like Brandon is actually in his window to be extended right now. Correct. Because it, that he's in his entering his fifth year. Trent's under contract. Right, but non guaranteed. Show up day one, it's well, guaranteed. See, like, I don't have any bad feelings toward any NFL player for holding out or asking for an extension ever. I, I said I, that and, today. And I had none against Brandon until someone, until they met his demand, because his demand was to be traded Exceeded. and paid, and they did that, and he said no. That's that's why Brandon I actually would set aside from any holdout that, that we've seen in recent times. And I don't play this game a lot, but Trey Williams made $168 million yep. in his career. Why does he want guaranteed money? Because there are huge men shoving him on every that's single right. play. That's right. And if he falls, then he gets none of the money. That's right. And that's why if I'm the Niners, I'm not giving him guaranteed money. I might give him a raise. I might give him a raise to well, make him the highest paid player. But the minute he steps on the field this year, he's going to make twenty two. They're not like if he gets hurt, he's paid. If they're they're not going to waive him. No. Does his contract become fully guaranteed on I, day one? If he gets hurt on the first play against the New York Jets, he gets twenty two million. He gets twenty two million. Now, the if it's a career ender, he's got problems the next year. Right. Where he's under contract for twenty three and obviously or twenty two, and then the year after that, he's actually set to make like thirty three. The very last year. When he's 39, yeah. Correct. Mm. Correct. So yeah, that's funny money. That's not yeah. even. Right. No, I know. That's right. not yeah. happening. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So I, I'm, I'm trying not, to cash in now. I I know. But like the idea, like I can see why the 49ers would say, forget guaranteed money. We'll just give you a raise because he is 36. You know what I mean? Like, he may not want that. Yeah, he I mean, wants I the think, guaranteed money. I, th I think at the bottom of this, mm. the only thing that's similar between these two conversations is this is about Jed York's bucket of guaranteed money and how much of it he would like to give up. And I'm thinking it's less than the players would like him to give up. So that's that's what's at the core of all these things. But I still can't get over. With Trent Williams, I still can't get over. I just I just don't think anybody's all that motivated to get him here right yeah. now. Right. That's why I think that like so if, no he signed, blood at all. if he signed today – then the expectation would be, all right, we'll see you on Monday when we get back from Tennessee. And I don't think that the team or Trent wants him to show up on Monday and be ready to go and be ready to start playing football. I think that there's still more time where he can benefit by not being around because he is older and he's well-established. What can he do well, other than maybe sharpen up Nick Bosa in one-on-one well, -on -one drills? I'll just, I would approach it from the other side. Nick Bosa held out, showed up, where they signed him right before the season, and it absolutely impacted him. Man. He's 24. Like, I, we're all just assuming that Trent Williams is, oh, he's fine. He, he doesn't need to work. Okay, you're right. He's yeah. a veteran. But he's 36. I could argue that pound he man. needs to kind of be in some kind of shape or going through some kind of regimen before the season starts. All right, guys, we got we'll a, be listening. Uh, we've got a show meeting uh, today. You do? So, That's yeah. exciting. What are you going to talk about? Uh, football. football season. Football oh, season. You're talk about football. Whether we want to, uh, yeah, football season. Okay, football. And we're going to talk sports, about. Man. <laughs> we're going to talk about sports. And man. these guys are going to continue the show on 95.7, uh, the game. Actually, we're going to start a new one, but.